You got me. <laughs> You're on Bruno's guitar garage again. The fan is on again. Nothing has changed because I just shot the... What's that fucking thing called? The Eclipse video. Shot. By which I mean pressed go on my phone and talk bollocks for 10 minutes. Anyway, this one is an Ibanez RG 321MH. This one's a Korean girl, made in 2004, so it's getting on a bit. You'll notice it has lovely neck binding. It has these metal pickup rings. Um, I put these here because the last ones were a bit, you know, dodged, but that's what happens when something gets old. It has two humbuckers. It has a five-way switch. These aren't push pulls, but you don't need that. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, this one you also get 24 frets. They're fucking massive. It's a 25 and a half inch scale as opposed to the Eclipse, which is 24 and three quarter. It's a simple but effective thing. I don't think it's got a wizard toe on it. It might be an original wizard. It's a really comfy shape. And I don't like these, you know, shred stick type neck things. Um, M-O means, M-H, sorry, M-H, not M-O. M-H means mahogany. As you can see, it looks like a coffee table. The finish was called mahogany oil. And pro tip, if you've got one of these and it's looking a bit crusty, you can clean it with satin finish armor all. Or satin finish leather wipes, I think. I don't quite recall. But I just used a spray bottle on this, it came up great. <laughs> um, yep, two hot humbuckers. They are... I have to... I feel a bit guilty. I have to do this video with the compressor on just to get the volume down <laughs> so the fucking thing behaves at the end. Um, I also have them set menacingly close to the strings. I don't think... Nah, I can't even get a pick in between the, the low string on that that side. Words is hard. Um, right, so this five-way switch business, put it here, it's that. If you click one down, that's in parallel, so it sounds like a single coil. In the middle, it's both. So if you want to be Scandinavian for 10 minutes, yep, that's where you want to be. That is both, but with like a kind of coil tap thing going on. And that's full bridge humbucker, that's where the party is. So without further ado, I think we should just bloody fire it up, eh? sounds kind of dark but crispy crispy dark bluesy go to the um parallel version So I'm not really sure how else to put that. But it's a good sound. And the middle is pretty straightforward. The amp is just starting to overdrive and that's with the compressor keeping it, you know, in check. It's not really doing any compressing, but I've got the level. The level's only about nine o'clock. Um, further down. So 
a lovely. That's not. That's not ice picky. It's not. I'm trying to do my head, and it's a. It's. It sounds like a tally, but different. <laughs> I had a bit of an urge and it needed scratching, so I did this to it. That's not how it goes, sorry. Stone going on there, probably owing to it being a hardtail. Yeah, it is a bolt on, but it's got that all access neck joint thing going on. Lovely contour here, string through body. Somehow, after 18 years, oh, she's 18, she can go for a drink now. This um, plasticky shit is still on here. <laughs> Alright. Um, but yeah. Simplicity is the best weapon. Whoa. I wonder what that is. Someone wasn't happy, but okay. Just to demo the series parallel thing. It's the Big Muff. The Big Muff is unhappy. Sorry. song can all just hop in the bin because my own prison was a good album okay so just shut up <laughs> um the other things you can do because i have an is and drop c <laughs> Thank you. 
what a sound. Um, and yeah, of course, my drop C knowledge is very limited, but if it's in any drop tuning, you can play it in drop C, whether it's going up or down, so... Um... <laughs> Sorry. Um, what about? whole drop tuning thing when I was, you know, all of 16 or 17, which was a very long time ago. Um, stuff is. I'm not sure if anything was not in drop C, but here we are. Um, Slipknot play in drop B, or at least they did when I was at school. Um, you can bring it up half a step to drop C. I kind of did want to do the experiment of how low can I tune this and get away with it, but nah, it's a bit wanky. Anyway, Ibanez RG321. The RG is a very vanilla piece of kit. You are never disappointed because you always know what you're going to get. And it just works. Don't you think? <laughs> um, you can buy a variant of this new. You can buy the RG421. It's made in Indonesia. No disrespect. Indonesia doing good things. Not Korea. You don't get the nice neck binding on it. And I think a couple of the other specs are a wee bit different. But by and large is mostly the same. That is if you don't want to look for a 321. Um, I think years ago I did a 3-2-1, the kind of grey-green, I can't see colour, that fucking coloured thing. I might have done another mahogany 3 2 one as well, don't quote me on that. Mm. No, I had one. Three or four years ago, it was a while ago. Anyway, yeah, Ibanez. You, when you buy an Ibanez, it works. And the same goes for Japanese cars, you buy it and it works. <laughs> there we go. Thank you kindly for watching. We'll be back um, when I can find something else to fuck up. <laughs> <laughs>